Chianti, and we're back at it again. Chicken Fiesta was started by two Asian diaspora who had the idea to grab international dishes and infuse them with Haitian spices and Haitian ingredients. And in that regard, they were successful. They leveraged local farmers, including their own farm, to source the majority of the recipes that they provide to their clients. The story itself couldn't be more incredible. They opened in 2010, and if you know in 2010, we had the earthquake. And literally two weeks before they were supposed to originally open, the earthquake happened. So they couldn't open the restaurant right away. They had to help and be part of the rebuilding process. That same year, they actually opened their doors in the fall of that year, and it's been out to the races ever since. My first experience was the Mayweather and McGregor fight. And I was like, man, I need a place to watch this thing. And you know what, there's this yellow building I've been going up and down next to. Let me check it out here. And of course, while I was there, I ordered their wings. And man, their wings have brought me back every single time. It's, they got something special in there. I'm telling you. <laughs> and their prices don't break the bank. It's really affordable to eat here. And today we had a chance to eat with Cameron Gabrielle, one of the co-owners and mavens to what makes this place so special. We had a chance to sit with Caramel Gabrielle, who was one of the co-owners and mavens to what makes this place so special. And we get a chance to talk to her about not only the food that's gonna be in front of us, you have some of her signature plates, but also just her experience of what it takes to run such an establishment in Haiti. Because she did it, and maybe you can. So we have in front of us some fantastic plates, okay? And we have Caramel Gabrielle, one of the owners of this fine establishment, Chicken Fiesta. Caramel, I want to thank you so much so for hi, having Chris. us. We appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome to Chicken Fiesta. Thank you. Thank so where, tell us, how do they find this place? Well, first of all, they can go on um, IG now. Yeah. And, uh, and, and Facebook. And we are like Facebook. Yeah, yeah. But also we are at 124, okay. we got American. Okay. We are uh, lower than uh, Oasis, okay. which nice. is one awesome. of the uh, Moulin Bar. Okay. Oasis. And that's, our, that's World Oasis for, for my English speaking. World Oasis, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to world be a Oasis. Yeah. And uh, we on the main strip of Pan American. Okay. And we open from 10, uh, from 12 noon to 10 p.m. Okay. on the weekdays and okay. the weekends we open until one o'clock okay on fridays and saturdays and on sundays we open until 10 p.m as okay. well all right but we start at noon you hear that now you got the hours i want to yes. see you here and the phone number is 2813-9866 fantastic so and you can also uh write us at chicken fiesta h at gmail.com so t tell us a few things about these plates what, what do we have in front of us here here we have the harabaneo this is these are one of the most famous wings that we have they're very in very high demand yeah. we have the harabaneo we have the spicy garlic we have the jamaican jerk and then the uh, asian zing nice, and nice. in terms of rice we have our house special rice that we put uh, uh we put some uh cork to make it a little different, yep. we add cup to it. Yep. And uh, but it has all the meat, it has pork, beef, and shrimp, and oh. and, and then uh, and uh, a cup. And then this is uh, our American Chinese American right. um, um, chicken garlic. Yeah. Okay. It looks uh, chicken very, uh, chicken broccoli. I mean, yeah, chicken broccoli. It looks very delicious. And now I yes. understand too, you have a farm. Yes. And so a lot of these ingredients yes. you get straight from? What we have decided after a while to to have, uh, to make sure that the quality that we have is exactly what we need here. Yeah. So we started a farm initiative mm -hmm. in Asapit, yeah. where uh, I'm originally, my father is originally from, yeah. and where I grow a lot. Mm -hmm. So now not only we grow our broccoli, carrots, and then we also buy from the farmers, we help them out. We uh, when uh, we give them the seeds, so we make sure that they 
do the proper farming. Yeah. And then we also hire people in the area. Yeah, yeah. And then we grow our cabbage, we grow carrots. Yeah. Well, I used to do to potatoes, but it's very demanding. Yeah, yeah. I don't have time for it yeah, anymore. Yeah. But I would do onions as well. Nice. So, so just about just yeah, just a percentage of you think like, of your ingredients you're getting now. Uh, from your we farm. do about sixty percent. Sixty percent, excellent, yes. excellent. If I had more time, we could do hundred yeah. percent. But as I said, we buy from the yeah. farmers as well. Fantastic. To keep them in business. Yeah, exactly. Yes. That's great. Yes. So I don't know. It, it, this establishment, ever since I've been in Haiti, I've been a big fan of the, the flavor, the quality, everything's been so great. So, uh, but I'm sure behind the scenes, it's not so easy. Right? I think it's easy, you know, this is flavorful, but well, doesn't look like maybe a challenge, you know, doing restauranting in Haiti that maybe wouldn't exist. Well, in Haiti, everything you do comes out of your pocket. Yeah. There is no loan. Yeah, yeah. And the banks, when we started here, they said you didn't even know us. Yeah. Even opening a bank account is a challenge in Haiti. It can be. So the startup costs cost yeah, a lot because yeah. you have to have a generator, yeah. because you're serving chicken. You, yeah. you have to be careful. Yeah. You have to keep them at a certain temperature. Yeah. And uh, so the startup cost was really a lot for us. But I mean, it's very really rewarding yeah. at the same time. And also training the staff yeah. is an issue because yeah. we are very Americanized. Yeah. So if you say we don't like something, yeah. we just take it back and say, so how can we help you? What yeah, yeah, you want yeah. next? The first time we did that, our employees, their the eyes were popping out. What do you mean? <laughs> so, take it back. You heard it. In Haiti, they, yes, yeah. they don't do that. Anyway, so. But now they've been with us like a family yeah. and they take pride into working yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So they understand the concept of yeah. customer service. Great, great. And I agree. Yes. I've been here. You guys are fantastic. I agree. Yes. So it's very rewarding yeah. to be home because and then to start, we started with 25 people. Yeah. Because there were a lot of demands. We had a lot of uh, famous clients. Yeah. And Sean Penn. Yeah. You know, they, he bought a lot of famous people. Here. Yeah, yeah. Because here is a place that where you come and eat, yeah. no one asks you for an autograph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so, <laughs> you just you relax know. like everybody else. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So, and the fact that we provide jobs for young people because yeah. our staff is very young. Yeah. And the fact that also being home. Yeah. It makes a lot of difference. It's okay. very rewarding, okay. even with all the headaches. Okay. But, but now with the economy is really, it's yeah. really challenging okay. right now. All right. But so here we have our here, first taste is of what is this? Jamaican jerk. Jamaican jerk. Let's try it out. Oh my God. Mm. The spice, the flavors, there are here. And honestly, I'm, I'm, honest, I'm not too much of a drug fan, but yo, this Wagwan. <laughs> mm. Next up. You can try the Asian Zing. The Asian Zing here? No, that one. Oh, this Asian yes. Zing, okay. It has a, it has a ginger flair in it. Oh my God. I can see the sweetness, the yes. sweet and softness, the sweetness. Wow. goodness this is one of our top sellers I see why yes man mm. Asian zing guys holy cow the sweetness the flavor the explosion my god and this so is spicy here. garlic spicy garlic let's take a look mm. Mm, 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 mm. By it's the like way, we make all our own sauce from scratch. I mean, there's just so many flavors in this here. It's incredible. Mm, oh my God. I don't know which is my favorite. <laughs> and this is the Harabanero. Yeah. Like by many Haitians. Okay. This is a Haitian favorite, Haitian local favorite. Let's yes. try that out. We're going to take a look at that. Oh, the smell of spices coming out. Ah, very juicy. Mmm. That spice comes on the tongue, sits right on the tongue there. Wow. That is excellent. And I'm also now going to try. I'm going to try now. This is the chicken broccoli. Yeah, the chicken broccoli. Got to grab a fork. Here you go. There we go. Oh my God, we got a little bit of broccoli. Mmm. 
Oh my God. I love how you can, you got your traditional wings, or you have an actual full plated meal. You know, peak, I feel picky up eating this here. It's really good. And looks very well presented. And now we're gonna try the the rice. Yeah, this is the what's it you said you mentioned you mentioned what was in here. How special. It How has special. Uh, chicken, pork, shrimp, and uh and corn. Alright, let's try that out. Let's take a look. Put that to the side plate here and let's And so wow, people like hearty. to add in some duck sauce. Some sauce. Like okay, this. let's try some, some duck sauce. Let's see yeah. what the people, see why the people be doing things. Mm. Put that up. Some duck sauce on there. And let's go ahead and taste that. Mmm. Very good compliment. Well, nah, man, no. Listen, guys. I can vouch for this food. As I mentioned, long time patron, I think of Chicken Fiesta. You, what I'm tasting right now, I can guarantee you, you'll taste it when you come six months from now, you'll taste it a year from now, right? But I do need you to come and taste it if you have it. <laughs> okay? Tell them see Genty sent you. <laughs> All right? And listen, I've, I've been talking to, for too much. The, this, the smell and the taste of this food is too good in front of me. I'm going to enjoy the rest of it. Give me that eating montage. And listen, until we're back at it again, we'll be back at it again remember like comment share and most definitely subscribe